fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. When the Civil War drew to a close, a new wave of settlers swept into the western United States. Many miners and prospectors were attracted to the Black Hills by the promise of gold. But hostile Indians drove them out, and when every effort to deal peacefully with the savages had failed, the president sent General Custer to make the country safe for the pioneers. That great leader found the masked rider of the plains ready and anxious to help him, and the part which the famous champion of justice played in the expedition is one of the most exciting episodes in the history of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear when adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Black Hills! Paddle's waiting on the trail ahead! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! <laughs> A pale moon shone down on a solitary rider in a tattered army uniform. The lean, haggard face of the man and the broken gait of the horse were evidence that days and nights had been spent on the trail. Both were on the verge of exhaustion, but still the man urged his mount forward over the broken ground. Can't be much further, old horse. It can't be. If it is, then heaven help us. Heaven help the army, too. Come on, boy. That looks like it might be the, the woods ahead. That's where, that's where we was told to meet the mask man. Steady, steady, boy. We got to keep going. We got to find the mask man. Steady. Oh. Huh. Licked. We, we failed. Well, there's a limit to what a horse can do, ain't they, old boy? Come on, Silver. That. That shout. Maybe, maybe that's him. Oh, good Lord in heaven, bring that man to me. Oh, oh, that's over. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh that was a horseman you saw from our camp. He's all in. Oh, how bad him hurt. I don't think he's been hurt. I think he's simply gone to the limit of his strength to reach us. This must be the soldier we were asked by those friends to meet here. Steady, soldier. Here, drink this water. Take a look at his horse, Tonto. What a bandana and wipe its nostrils. And try and pour some water from your canteen into uh, his mouth. Oh, no. Fix him. Are you hurt? Me? I I don't count, mister. I had to find a, a mask, man. I, I can't see so good. I'm wearing a mask. I got to be sure, dead sure, I got the right man. There can't be no mistake. My general... The general who sent you here knew me. He, he knew one man. Take a look at this, if you can. Let me hold you sitting up. Here. These bullets are silver. The Lone Ranger. You were to bring an important message for me. Important, stranger. The whole future of the West may count on you. 
The general wants help. He may have anything I can give him. The general who sent you is the one man on earth who knows my identity. Yeah. General Custer? Yes. Where's the message? It's here. Shirt pocket. Sealed. Where is Custer now? He, to the north of here. Here's the message. I could do with some more water now. Don't drink it too fast, soldier. Here. The men with Williams, Colonel Williams, they need you. Custer sent word to Williams. Oh, all that water helps me plenty. Williams should be looking for you. Very well. That message will tell you the whole thing. Is there light enough for the moon to read it? Yes. He addressed me by name. I, I wouldn't know. The general said he would never use my name unless more than his life depended on it. That's the case right now. The president wants the West made safe. It's the president himself that's needing your help. The president. He was told by Custer. Told that he could count on you. Can you make out the message? I'm reading it. Your horse be all right soon. I'm sure glad of that. This can't be possible. Hmm? The Indians have rifles. Oh, they have. They sure enough have. And heaven only knows where they got them. That's going to make it harder than ever to conquer them. I don't suppose Colonel Williams knows they got them rifles. If he don't, they'll, they'll wipe him out long before he can get to Little Bear River, where the white folks need him. The colonel is supposed to take troops to Little Bear River? Yeah, that's right. And you got to show him. you got to show him the pass through the hills. If he don't go that way, he'll meet them Blackfeet. With their rifles? Yeah. If they didn't have the rifles, he might be able to wipe them out, but they won't have a chance now. How did Custer learn this? From Indian scouts. It's on his side. Soldier, I'm going to take you to our camp. You can stay there until you have your strength back. Uh, I ought to get started right back. A nice rest and food, and you'll be ready. Well, I almost forgot when I ate last. We can supply you with food enough to take you back to General Custer. You'd better sleep till morning, then start. Is there any reply to the message? Reply? What could there be? He knows what he wants me to do, and he knows it will be done. How will I prove I brought the message to you? Here, take this. The, the bullet. The silver bullet of the Lone Ranger. <laughs> The Lone Ranger and Tonto returned to their camp with the messenger and made him comfortable, but they stayed only long enough to pack their horses. Then they started for the garrison commanded by Colonel Williams. Throughout the day and into the night, they raced across the plains, pausing only to water their horses. The Lone Ranger was riding riding at the request of the one man who knew his identity. Riding to carry out the desires of the president of his country. Come on there, Silver! We must there now. We'll arrive at the fort soon after sunrise, Tonto. Uh, get him up, Scout. General Custer said that Colonel Williams was going to start for Little Bear River as soon as possible. The Indians know it. They'll try to stop him. Uh, I hope we're not too late in reaching him. hi Silver! Away! I should think, being the commander of the fort, you could let the other men handle things. I'm sorry, Sarah, but right now the Indian situation is too critical. I'll have to go with my men when they start for Little Bear River. Take me with you, Pa. <laughs> Not yet, son. You'll be in the army when you're older. Can I be a colonel like you? Well, Uncle Sam will have something to say about that. Do you think Billy and I will be better off here in the fort than to try and start for the next town east of here? You'd best stay right here, Sarah. How long do you think it will take to fix things up over at Little Bear River? I shouldn't be gone more than a couple of weeks. Well, where's Captain Mills? I told him to report here first thing in the morning. But they just sounded reveling. Well, why isn't he here? <laughs> there, you see. You always fret for nothing. Good morning, Captain. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Sit down, Captain, and have a cup of coffee. Are the plans all made for the movement to Little Bear River? Yes, sir. Good. As it stands now, sir, we leave here at midnight and get to that Blackfoot camp to take them by surprise at about three tomorrow morning. Will you fight them? We'll take care of them, son. I wish there was some way to circle them. And lead them to move in on the fort? No, Sarah, they must be wiped out before we go on to Little Bear. <sighs> the battle shouldn't be a stiff one, sir. We'll take them by surprise, and it'll be army rifles against bows and arrows. Of course. 
Can I have some coffee? Uh, no, thank you, sir. I, I'd like to speak to you privately. Yes? A scout came in during the night and brought a message for you. From whom? I, I'd like to speak privately, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Step this way. Mom? Yes, sir? When I get big, I'm going to do something about these Indians. <laughs> Bless your heart, Billy. We're all hoping and praying there won't be need for fighting. What do you mean, Mom? It's a frightful thing, this fighting and killing. If only there was some other way the Indians could be reasoned with. Our president wishes there were. His heart aches all the time because the soldiers must use force and arms to make the country safe. Uh, we hope that by the time you're a man, the Indians and white folks will make their peace just as the North and South made theirs and all live for the good of the nation. It's best to keep it quiet for the time, Captain. Yes, sir. Sam, what is it? What's happened? Uh, what do you mean? You look so strange. You, you've had bad news. Uh, nothing that directly concerns us, Sarah. What's that? Who are we? Yes? Who is this masked man? I've come for a personal word with you, Colonel Williams. He wouldn't unmask or hand over his weapon, sir, but he's guarded carefully. Who are you? Tell these men to put away their guns. He said you were expecting him, sir. That is not true. Haven't you had a message from General Custer? Concerning you? Yes. I've had no message of that sort. There, now take off that mask and hand over your arms. Stand back. Steady there, steady, Silver. I've heard that white men were working with the Indians, Colonel Williams. Yes. State your business at once. I was given a message from General Custer. He sent me to you. The Blackfeet have rifles, and if you proceed as you had planned, you'll be trapped. Rifles? That can't be true, sir. If it were, one of our scouts would have reported it. Where is General Custer? He sent a messenger to me. He was moving toward Little Bighorn. And said what? That I was to come here and show you a mountain trail that would take you around the Blackfeet. So you could move into Little Bear River without being wiped out in a battle against them. They know your plans and will be waiting for you. It's my belief, sir, this is a trap. Where is this letter you say you received? I've destroyed it. Destroyed it? The only evidence that you come here in good faith? General Custer used my name in addressing me, Colonel Williams. He's the only man who knows my identity. And why do you choose to conceal your identity? I found that I can accomplish more in helping to build the West if I'm unknown. Colonel Williams, sir. Speak orderly. You men keep this stranger well covered. Yes, sir. Just before he rode into range, one of the sentries saw him through an opening in the woods to the north. And at that time, there was an Indian with him. Is this the truth? It is. Who's the Indian? His name is Tonto, and he's my friend. I thought it best for him to stay back so your men wouldn't open fire. All Indians are looked on as enemies right now. And most of them are. But this is wasting time, Colonel Williams. If you received the message General Custer was to send you, you must know your orders. I told you I received no such message. I've never known Custer to break his promise. General Custer is dead. Dead? The general? Word came during the night. He was led into a trap. Perhaps just as you're trying to lead me into one. General Custer. He met 6,000 Indians and every one of his men were wiped out. You must have known about this, or you wouldn't have used his name to try and win our confidence. You chose a man who couldn't deny what you said. That's why no word from you him. You came here hoping to lead us into the, just the same trap as Custer Martin. No, I did not. Colonel Williams, what can I do to prove I'm telling you the truth? Here, these silver bullets, do they mean anything? Silver bullets? No, why should they? My horse, Silver, have you heard of him? No. Isn't there a man in your detachment who has lived for some time in this part of the country? But no, if there were, you wouldn't have required me as a guide. Put this man under arrest. Colonel Williams. And take off that mask. You're under arrest. Wait, stand back. Put down those guns. I'm not going to be taken where I won't be able to help carry out the last instruction I received from General Custer. Hand over those guns or we'll order you shot down. Colonel, wait just a moment. Oh, I heard about children. Be quiet, son. There will take Billy into the house. This man starts shooting. You needn't and... be afraid of that, Colonel. Boss, that's the man old Lefty told about. Sarah, take the boy away. Won't you listen to your son? Colonel Williams, the fate of your troops may depend on it. Give this man five seconds to drop his guns, then open fire on him. I'll not take five seconds. Come on, Silver. Look out! Oh, stop it! Stand clear, I'm oh, not being taken. All right, taken. boys! Come, Silver, away! Come on, Silver, away! Come on, Silver, Come on, Silver, old boy! There's Tuttle riding to meet us. We can count on him. Get him up, Scout. Tuttle, the general has been killed. What's happened? The colonel won't trust us. I destroyed that message. Didn't think I'd need it. What we do now? We've got to get into hiding for the time. And we've got to find a way to get those troops a little bear in safety. hi -o, Silver, away! <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling known Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story, 
The colonel suspected a trap, and when the Lone Ranger rode away, he gave no order to follow. The day was spent preparing for the march at midnight, the march that would end in death for every soldier under Colonel Williams unless the masked rider could find a way to stop them. That evening in the colonel's home, his wife said, Billy has told so many stories about the masked men, Sam. <laughs> Why did you let the boy talk like that, Sarah? That old scout you used to have told him about the Lone Ranger. He has an Indian friend named Tonto and a horse named Silver and Silver Bullet, just like that stranger had. Perhaps he was sincere. I'll take no chances. Custard sent word all right, well and good, but he didn't. Billy getting ready for bed? Yes. I want to say good night to him and goodbye. Yes, dear. We leave here at midnight, and if things go according to schedule, I should be back inside of ten days or two weeks. We... we'll be waiting... Billy and I. Well, son, we won't see each other again for a few days. Put me in bed tonight, Pa. Why, mm-hmm. sure. I, What's the matter, little soldier? I, I don't want you to go away. What? <laughs> now, see here, son. You wouldn't want us to let these redskins make a lot of trouble in Little Bear, would you? No, sir. Now, come on. I, I'm afraid. Afraid? Now, what sort of talk is that for a soldier? We're going to make short work of this trip. There now, lie down. My prayers. Oh, sure, sure thing. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to take. God bless the President of the United States and... God bless Mother and Papa and the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. I wonder... At the stroke of midnight, the bugle was sounded, and men and horses fell into the ranks ready to push forward to Little Bear and the Indian trap ahead. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode near the fort and... Tonto, the colonel knew those Indians were waiting in ambush. He knew they were armed with rifles before he led his men right to the place. He had time to sound a retreat. Not right. He might be able to find his way through the mountain trail and get past the savages if he were warned. Him not listen to warnings. He can't help hearing the warning I'm going to give him. But Tonto, it'd be far better if he had a guide to take him through the mountains. Ah. That's why we're going to separate here, Kimasabi. Where we go? We know about where the Indians are waiting. Uh-huh. I'm going to ride a half a mile ahead of the troops. When they get close to the Indians, I'll charge the camp. The Indians will have to start firing, and that'll warn the army men. What? What happened to you? That doesn't matter. Tonto go. Not you. No, Kimosabe. You've got to stay back. The colonel will need you as a guide. You stay back. You go, you not come back alive. Neither would you. That not matter. Maybe Tonto... Not the... They he... might not even fire on you, and they've got to fire to let the army know they have those rifles. Tonto, make them fire. Tonto, you and I have ridden a long trail together and shared everything. This is one thing I'll not share with you. Tonto, ride to Indian. There's one thing that can never be changed. You were born an Indian. It isn't justice that you should be the one to be killed by your own people to help the white man. Them bad Indians. Not bad, Tonto, not always. They just haven't learned to think and live and understand things as white folks do. They must be taught. Tonto, go. You not get killed. General Custer sent that message to me, and I'm the one to go. Uh, army find way through trail alone. What? We go together. But there's no need. Only few red men get chance to die to save army. I understand, Kimasabi. Uh, long time we ride same trail. Now... We go to end at the same time. There's just one way that I could stop you, Tonto. But I can't tie you up and leave you. If you want it so, we'll attack the savages together. That keep good. Army come this way plenty soon now. We'll wait right here. Oh, 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 oh Scout. Oh. As soon as the horses or the troops are heard, we'll start again and keep ahead of them. Uh. But if you're determined to go with me, we'll have to tell the colonel how to get through the mountain trail. We'll wait and let them overtake us just before we make the break to attack the savages. The 
Lone Ranger and Tonto waited in the saddle, firmly convinced that this would be their last ride together. But both of them were ready to meet the end with the same great courage they had shown through all their travels and adventures. An hour passed. The troops could be heard in the distance. Then the masked man and his Indian companion rode on. Now and then, Colonel Williams, at the head of his column, was able to see the two faint shadows on the trail. There's that couple again, Colonel Williams. Yes, I see them. Curious. I wonder who they are, sir. They seem to keep just that same space between us. Almost like an omen of some sort. Do you give any serious thought to what that masked man said about the Indians having firearms? I've tried to consider his remarks from both angles, Captain. He might have told the truth, but it's equally likely that he was sent to lead us into a trap. That was my conclusion. Uh, it's hard to say. After the Little Bighorn Massacre, however, we can take no chances on following strangers. Especially those who refuse to show their face. Exactly. Those two seem to have hoarded, sir. Uh, well, perhaps we'll learn who they are. At our own scouts, I'm sure of that. It's true. Eh? Oh, I was a bit lost in thought. They have hoarded. They're waiting for us. If I could only have been sure. Sure? Sure of what, sir? They have hoarded. If he had only had the letter. I beg your pardon, sir. Or if someone other than my son knew of him. You were speaking about that masked man again. And I'm hanged if that doesn't look right. A head? Yes, that horse appears to be white. It is the masked man. He's holding up his hand. He wants to speak to us. Uh, pass the word to Halt. Go there. Halt! 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 You again. Colonel Williams, I gave you Custer's message. There are Indians camped in the valley just beyond. They know you're coming and they're waiting for you. You tried to tell us that before. They're armed with rifles and have plenty of ammunition. If you'll circle to the south and take the trail through the mountains, you'll get past them and reach Little Bear in safety. More likely we'll run into the Indians you mentioned on the trail in the mountains. I'm addressing your colonel. What you say may be true, but we're going straight ahead. In case you have reason to change your mind, colonel, let me advise you about the mountain trail. Due south from here, you'll come to a pile of huge boulders topped by a pedestal of stone. Turn there and break into the mountains heading due west. In three miles, you'll hit a stream, and the trail runs alongside this to the top of the range. Then a northwest course will take you to Little Bear River. This truce is ended. We have no intention of taking your advice. Colonel Williams, we're riding ahead of you. The firing you'll hear will be the rifles of the Indians. If that doesn't convince you that I've told you the truth, then I'll have done all that's in my power to do. That sounds big. I suppose you're going to ride in the midst of these Indians and attack them single-handed. No, Captain. I didn't think so. Not alone. Tonto was with me. Do you mean to I say... I mean I've done all I can do, except what I hope would not be necessary. Come on, Silver. Come, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver, away! Them color plenty fool. I hope this isn't going to be in vain. Engine in Valley just had. Make as good a fight as you can, Tonto. Make those Indians fire guns. Let the army know we've told the truth. Ah, there's the valley. Me not see engine, but they'll be there. They kept the place dark. We find them. There, look. Oh, now, Tonto, see. Captain Tonto, we made them turn out. And there, plenty engine. Captain Silver, help them, old boy. Engine, get horse. They look for an army. We took them by surprise. They're all turning out now. This is it, Tonto. This is the end. <laughs> The Indians, routed from their hiding places, were compelled to attack the Lone Ranger and Tonto. But taken by surprise, they barely had a chance to leap to their horses before the mighty Silver was among them. The white horse reared high, then whirled, sidestepped and spun, using all the tricks the masked man had taught him. The sharp silver shot hoofs rose high, then lashed down at the enemies who crowded close to him. In such close quarters, the Indians had difficulty bringing their rifles to bear, and many of their shots brought down their own men. Keep fighting, Tonto. Keep it going as long as we can. Engine all around us now. We've no chance for escape, but let them know they're fighting. Finally, the savages drew knives and tomahawks and fought close to the masked man and Tonto. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were both wounded. Then, when the end seemed close at hand, a new sound split the night. The clear tones of a bugle, a new burst of firing accompanied by a thunder of 600 horses' hooves announced the coming of the troops. Colonel Williams had given the order to charge. 
This was no army taken by surprise. It was a battalion of grim men plunging to the attack and to the rescue. Hacking, fighting their way to the Lone Ranger and Tonto, the soldiers carried them to safety. Then the fight was short. The Indians realized they were beaten, and those who survived took flight. Good fight, men. But where's the masked man? Here he is, sir. He ain't hurt bad, sir. Nothing serious. You... Will you accept my apologies? Well, that's all right, Colonel Williams, but you were to take the mountain trail. After I learned that what my son told me about you was true... No, we couldn't leave you to die, thinking the army of the nation you love had let you down. Tonto, where's Tonto? Uh, 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 uh. Me, me here. Alive. Tonto, I didn't think we'd see another sunrise. It's my wife and son, I must send word to them. Your son, sir. He's the one who told you. He is. Let me take the message to them. The word that you've met and conquered the Indians. Billy would be glad, Lone Ranger, if it were you who brought that message. Tonto, we've kept faith with General Custer. That's right. And our president's confidence in us has been justified. Hi, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Mm-hmm.